Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 6 starts now. A community coming together to support the family of a fallen Oakland County Sheriff's deputy three months after he was shot and killed in Detroit. Deputy Bradley Reckling was killed back in June. None of the three teenagers arrested have been charged with this murder, but today the Berkeley community is helping the family he left behind, all while serving up some great food. Our Jacqueline Francis is there, and Jacqueline, what a great show of support. Well, a great turnout today, and I don't know if you remember, but this was the motorcycle that was outside of the funeral home a few short months ago. You can see it dedicating here to be reckling some signatures here at the top. Just a really great show of support. Everyone that you see out here today is supporting the family of Oakland County Deputy Brad Reckling. At just 30 years old, Reckling was shot and killed in the line of duty. This fundraiser today is to benefit the family of the father of three with a baby on the way. And well, some of his family members were out here today, including his father and his cousin. We caught up with his cousin. Here's what he had to say. He was so humble. He don't like. He didn't like to uh, be in any spotlights. He just liked to do what he did and be on his way. And um, the things about him, special, is he was so good at so many different things. He could uh, anything he put his hands on, he could figure it out and just do it. It's just unbelievable talent, unbelievable heart. A great turnout for a great cause. We're live in Berkeley. Jacqueline Francis, local four. Okay. Thank you, Jacqueline. A man is now charged with murder in the 2022 killing of a retired Detroit police officer. Prosecutors say Eric Davis killed former officer Stefan Hodo during an argument. Davis is accused of moving the retired officer's body to a nearby park before breaking into Hodo's home and taking his vehicle and handgun. He then allegedly used that gun in two non-fatal shootings a few days later. Davis was later arrested. He now faces several charges, including first degree murder. Davis is due back in court on Monday. Heading now to Detroit's west side, where police are looking into a shooting that left three men injured. It happened last night around 6.30 on West Davidson near Linwood. Police say they are still working to learn what led up to the shooting. However, investigators say all three victims are expected to be okay. Anyone with information should call Crime Stoppers. We are awaiting an update on the Michigan State Police Trooper who was badly hurt in a crash yesterday morning. The officer was conducting a traffic stop on a semi on I-75 near Dix and Lincoln Park when he was struck by another vehicle. The other driver was killed. The trooper was in critical condition yesterday. We have calls out to Michigan State Police for updates. We have not heard back yet. Concerns are mounting over the potential impact of false rumors spread by former President Donald Trump and others that Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, are stealing and eating people's pets. A bomb threat on Thursday forced Springfield City Hall to close and officials evacuated two elementary schools Friday. Yesterday, Trump doubled down on his controversial statements. City officials and police have said there is no credible information to support Trump's claims. The Haitian community says Trump's comments are putting lives in danger. He has to control uh, the rhetoric and, and, and the narrative that uh, he puts out there because all that he says can harm a community, um, can harm some, some people. The issue has gained enough attention to drive a strong White House response and engagement from federal officials. As for the pet eating rumor, it seems to have started in a local Facebook group, which then reached conservative media and the Republican Party. A tense dispute between Disney and DirecTV is now over after the two sides agree to a new deal that restores Disney-owned channels to the satellite TV provider. DirecTV stopped airing all Disney-owned channels on September 1st over fees and bundle structures. This impacted over 11 million subscribers. DirecTV TV offered its customers a $30 credit financed by stopping payments to Disney as soon as the blackout began.